Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I have collected a few bits over the last couple of weeks. I haven't done a what did I get for a while. So um, I thought I would share the stuff that I have at the moment. So first of all, I received some lovely friend mail from my friend Tatty. And um, I'm just gonna pull it out of the bag here. She's packed it full for me. You can see she sent me so many lovely things, bless her. So I've got here, I loved these. Now I these are from the works. I haven't been in the works um, since lockdown. And um, I know the shops are open now, but it's just getting into town. I don't really want to go in. So um, I guess I should look online as well. But there's these sunflowers and they've got tiny little um, ladybirds on them. So they're gonna look really nice just to finish off a gift tag, maybe on a gift bag or something, or even on your card making as well. But also on the 3D makes, you know, the, like the She Shed and, um, what was the other one I done like the bureau and things like that these embellishments always do look nice on those kind of projects so these always go into my some of you may have seen when I've done some of the lives behind me I have a shelf which has just got lots of jars and I fill them with all the embellishments and um, they're just there I can see through them so sometimes if I'm just looking for that last bit to finish something off I can just look behind me have a little look through the jars and you know see what's there so she's always sent, also sent me these here. I've had these before, they're really nice. Um, I actually, these are probably my favorite size. There's the mini flowers and then there's slightly larger ones. And I think it's this style that I just seem to grab, you know, when I'm doing those kind of 3D projects. They're just really nice. I love the ombre effect of these with the lighter at the top and then the darker at the bottom. Um, so again, those are really nice. Then I've got a little sequin mix. I love these sequin mixes. Well, actually this is a bead and it's it's just your um, all your embellishments, but without the adhesives, you apply the adhesive yourself. Yeah, you've just got a, a lovely assortment. There's loads in there. You can keep them in the plastic or you can, I've got a jar where I've just got lots of bits and pieces in there. And she's actually used some of these ones, I think on the card that she sent me, which I'll show you in a moment. But these are by Sparklets Embellish Embellishments. Um, I've not heard of them before. Um, Tati lives in Dublin, but she's from Brazil, so she has sent me stuff from um, from Brazil before. But I can't see inside there. Here we go. What's it say on the back? Um, oh, this is from West Berlin. It's called Christmas Carnival. So um, yeah, really, really sweet. And then I've got these bits here, which I know she's collected. These are all do crafts. Um, not sure how long ago these are, but these will go into my Christmas thing because um, they're perfect gift tags. Um, you've got those there, which are really nice, which I'll probably use on some of my Christmas makes. And then you've got these tiny little, I like the wreath there and stuff, but they're great. When I make those kind of loaded full gift tags, these are great, just kind of like fillers, you know, you can kind of, yeah, fill them in. <laughs> Then I've got this here. These are nine star embellishments. Really pretty. Love the sparkle. It's got like a holographic um, effect there when it hits the light. So they're really pretty. So again, I'll take them off the plastic, add them with my other bits and pieces. And that way I never forget stuff. It's all there. You know, I can root through it. That system works really well for me. So I'll be doing all that later. Um, then she sent me some of these. Now I do have a few bottles, but it's the metal precision nibs. They're the ones, because once you lose the pin, they have to be a stainless steel pin, and it's only certain pins that fit these. So I've got other stainless steel pins from my sewing box, and they're a bit thicker, and they don't go through the ends of these. So these are brilliant, because you can take these off and put them on any of your, you know, your bottles. You just twist them on there. So um, I want to get one to go on the this one here, so I can just pop one of them on. And even on my, you can see there, I've got it on my glossy accents, but it'd be nice to actually have the proper metal. So I'll probably actually just use the tips off of these because they're they're small precision bottles. You can see I've got one here um, with the Kalau in as well. I have lots of them, all my glue filled up, so it's all there ready for me to grab. But these are worth their weight in gold. They're just so handy to have. Now these, I was actually really pleased that I've got these because I have a few snowflakes, but not many. Now these are wooden ones. And what I wanna do, I don't wanna to give too much away, but I've got a really nice kind of mixed media Christmas decor idea, and it's using wooden snowflakes. So when I saw these, I thought, is she read my mind? Cause I've not actually said anything about that. So again, Tati, thank you so much. I'm gonna be using these nearer the time. I think I'm losing my voice, you can probably hear. <laughs> Then I got the wooden fences. Now I used these um, when I made the, it was like a really pretty flower concertina card. And I only had one left. 
So now I've got these three because they'd sold out in my store as well. And I know lots of people when I'd made that card, they went and purchased them. So again, I don't know whether she got these a while back and she's just not used them herself um, and saw that I've used them. So again, now I've got four because I've got a nice, you know, even number. So I'll be able to make that card again. <laughs> so that was lovely. Here is the card that she's made. It's gorgeous. And you can see those gorgeous, they're like faceted embellishments that she's used. And it's all heat embossed. And then she's coloured in the centres. And she's also distressed this background. It looks like she's spritzed it with some kind of glitter spray or a shimmer spray. Um, it's just full of shine. It's really, really nice. Big hugs and happy thoughts. And she's right, a lovely message in there for me. So I'll pop that to one side because I'll put that up now. And then I've got this here, which is a beautiful, I haven't got this one. And this is the ombre glitter pad. Again, this is the works. And I just love it going from that pink down into that, you know, deep kind of purple colour. And you get, um, it's 250 GSM as well. So it's perfect for card blanks. You can actually use this, you know, um, you get, well, it says blue and pink, but to me, I see purple. <laughs> so let me know what you see, but I definitely see a pink into a purple there. If I take one out. Saying that though, now when you take that away, it does go down into a, a darker blue, I guess. See, I was just seeing that where it still looked quite purpley, so I'll let them have that one. <laughs> but you can see it there, it's got such a lovely sparkle to it. It's stunning, really nice. That's gonna work so well with my new collection. The Let's Hear It For The Girls, just all those colors, die cutting the handbags in that and things like that, it's gonna look really nice. So thank you for that. And then I got this, wow. So she actually sent me the stencil of this um, a few months back, more towards the beginning of the year. And the stencil was beautiful and I've actually used it on a couple of cards. And now she sent me the stamp set that matches. This is stunning. Tati, again, thank you so much. You are so, so kind. This is just such a gorgeous set and I love the sentiments. It's just got, you've got my friend. It's cool to be kind, stay awesome. I adore you, dot, the end, dot. I think that's brilliant. Um, miss you my friend and love you my friend. I just, again, <laughs> if you followed me long enough, I love foliage, I love leaves. I actually have nearly 20 plants in my house that are all green. I just love green and leaves. So I will be using this definitely. This will go to the front of the queue with all of my leaf stamps and dyes. It's gorgeous and it's old to new. It's such good quality. Photopolymer stamps and I'll be looking forward to using that with the stencils and I'm sure I'm going to do a very green and very leafy future tutorial. I've got some nice ideas actually so again big thank you. And then I've got this one here. I do actually think I have this one Tatty so what I'm probably going to do with this one is pop it in the giveaway box that I have and um, yeah we can add that into there and then I think you know someone else can enjoy it because I'm sure I've picked this one up myself so I'll have a I'll double check but I'm pretty sure so very nice. And then I've got this one here. So these are the apple blossoms. Now I actually got these when I was on the design team for Craft Stash. I got sent the whole collection of this and um, I've used them, they're beautiful. And then my mum fell in love with them so I actually gifted them to my mum. And then you sent me this, so I've got one back again. I made with this one, I think it was a rainbow card that i done and it's gorgeous. So you have this absolutely huge die, you can see there, and these are still on their website, I believe. So this will fit onto a five by seven or an eight by eight card. So when you die cut this, what it does is it only has a cut line around the outer part of all of those butterflies. It doesn't join there. So what it means is it cuts that into the cardstock and then you can pop all the leaves out and it just leaves this beautiful, they call it, what do they call it? Is it the wave of butterflies? Oh, swoop, butterfly swoop. And then you have these butterflies here and frames to then build up on top. So there's all your detail. It creates beautiful, beautiful cards. I've shared them on my page before. So it was nice to have this one back as much as, um, you know, I love my mum and I don't mind giving her stuff. <laughs> Sometimes it's once you give it away, you then wish you hadn't. So um, yeah, thank you. And I love butterflies. So that was really kind. And then she knows that I'm currently trying to re-teach myself how to write again. So I am terrible at writing. I write in capitals and I want to be able to make my own sentiments, have beautiful, you know, handwriting. So my dad actually... Um, He's a fan, he, I don't know, what do you call it, a calligrapher? Yeah, a calligrapher, he, he, he writes with calligraphy. He's very, very good. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to be able to do it. So she's also sent me this pen. It's the first time I'm opening it, so I don't want to create too much noise. There we go. 
So I've got two nibs here. So again, I'll have to see if they're both the same or slightly different. You've got 1.1, no, 1.9, so they are. So this one's the thicker one. I'm not going to put the inks in yet, but I've got a green, a blue, and a black. God, it's taking me back to my school days now. I used to always write with these. And that's the thing, I used to love it. I used to enjoy it so much. And I don't know why or what made me start to write in capitals. But um, yeah, that's a really nice, I love that um, like marble effect on there. And then this here, I guess these are your test sheets. Yeah, they are. So I have a few. I am. I sit down in the evenings and do it. Um, I try to get more time if I can. But uh, yeah, this will be added to my kind of test sheets or my learning sheets or whatever. I just, I love it. I really do. And I want to be able to produce beautiful these kind of this. Oh, yeah. So thank you again. That's really, really nice of you. I'm going to add that to my, my other bits and pieces. I love this imagery on the front of this as well. It's really nice. So again, thank you so much, Tassie. You know, I appreciate it. And you're such a very sweet lady for sending me all of that lovely product. Okay. And then I've purchased a few things myself so I've got a shop called Chaplin's literally just around the corner from me and um, it's it's a it's an okay shop but they do have quite a nice um, crafts like section and I picked up these they only had um, three I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have got all three but I just want to try it all first I have done something with the lights before um, I've got a really nice idea and I want to play around with it so they were 4.99 down to 3.99 I don't know what they're kind of usually sold at but the thing with these is, is they're flat. They have the flat battery pack, whereas some of them are quite bulky. And um, yeah, you can add this into your card. So it's just wrapped around that Christmas tree um, just to show you what they are. They're the rice lights. So, um, and these are white. So it just says white, LED white string lights. And um, yeah, I'm gonna give them a go and see what they're like. Then I saw these, again, these are what I, I always you find in the works and also in the range. But this was in Chaplin's, they were a pound each, but I loved the colors. I hadn't seen these one before. I got two packs and they're just perfect. Those quick sentiments for when you just need, you don't want to stamp, you don't, you know, you just need something fast. You've got some really nice ones, all the best, especially for you, just for you, best wishes. Uh, with love just for you especially for you and thank you and it just repeats again so but I just love those colors they're very much my style I love the silver I'm not so much of a gold fan I always like the silver um, and you've got the little embellishments there as well and I thought for a pound that they were pretty good then I stocked up on my red tape from Handmade at Helen's. Um, again I'll link everything below so she kindly actually sent me these sizes um, possibly a while back now um, and I use them a lot and they've worked really well this size in particular which is the thinnest one this is the three millimeter one eighth of an inch when I was doing all my slider cards you get so much on these this is the mega roll there's 14 meters it lasts you so long now, this is the permanent and acid free double sided extra strong it's brilliant stuff so you know thank you to Helen initially for sending it to me so I've got these two here these are your 12 millimeter which you're looking at is what does that work out i think it's just over half an inch or it is half an inch because that one doesn't give you the inch measurement just gives you just gives you the millimeter yeah half an inch um i can see on there actually yeah it is so i've got two of those two of the one eighth of an inch three mil and then this one here i got two of the six mil and again, you get, so you get 10 meters in those ones, but these were the mega rolls. So you see their packaging slightly different. They've got that purple background, um, 15 yards if you work in yards. So yeah, brilliant, all permanent. You know, the red line tape's brilliant anyway. I use it on a lot of my 3D makes as well. So I've got plenty of that now to keep me going and that will last me a very long time. So I'm gonna pop them away in a moment. And then I ordered this one. It was there and I thought, you know, I wasn't, I saw when they were released it and I thought, yeah, it's a nice colour and I will eventually get it, but I wasn't desperate to have to be one of the first. And it's the, the latest colour by Tim Holtz and it's the speckled egg. And it is really nice. I've tested it out. So it's going to be a nice addition because um, I do have nearly all of them now. So um, yeah, it is nice to, to have that extra 
new colour and uh, yeah I'll be using that in tutorials and then she very kindly um, added these in for me which was really nice and actually I was really surprised with this one because I've seen this used a lot by other YouTubers in the US so like Gina Kay, Jennifer Maguire, Christina so I saw this one and it's the Alabaster White and it's by Brutus Munro and it's the embossing powder and um, you see it's slightly bigger than a normal so say I've got a lot of these ones here which are the Wow so you can see the difference in the size there. This is, I don't know if it tells you actually on here. Oh yeah, so this is 15 mil, 0.5 ounces. And this one here is one ounce. That doesn't sound right. Oh yeah, 0.5 and that's one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. This is double the, double the amount. Um, but it's just really nice. It's so fine. It's literally like flour in there. So I imagine you're gonna get, well, from what I've seen, you do get a really nice finish. And I like to do white sentiments on black cardstock. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be really nice. And then she sent me this washi tape here and it's got all craft related. Like it's got your ink and your quills. It's got like a mason jar with colored pencils. It's got paint brushes. Um, it's got some pens in a glass jar and then like your uh, little kind of shavings from where you've sharpened the pencil. You've got ink well, you've got a little bulldog clip. I just thought it was really nice. So I can pop that into my planner and things like that. So again, thank you so much, um, Helen. That was really kind of you. Then I've been sent the latest Paper Craft Society. So this is the Christina Griffiths. Yeah, Christina Griffiths. And this is box 11. So this is the one just after mine, because mine was box 10. So I'm going to do a separate unboxing for this one, but this is landed now. And um, it's got those lovely autumnal colours. I do love autumn um, as a season. I just really like the colours anyway. So it'd be quite nice to um, have a play with this one. And you can see on the front is always an indication of the kind of colour palette and what you're going to get inside. And uh, yeah, I have had a sneak peek already, but I'm going to do the unboxing um, video for this one separately. And I will link that one up here because um, I think I'll be putting this video out before the unboxing video. And then lastly, I've been sent um, magazines. I've I'm in, I think I'm in two of them. So these are some of the latest magazines that are on the shelf at the moment. So first of all, you've got the latest Sentimentally Yours kit so this is your your kind of magazine box kits you get 130 elements to get you crafting tonight um, it's always nice when these come out because if you ever make um, any kind of you do any commissions for the magazines you do them sometimes like four months in advance so by the time the magazine comes out you've almost well I do sometimes so I forget what one I've done and it was really nice to see one of mine's made it onto the front here and it was this really lovely bridge fold and um, you'll be able to see that in more detail in a moment but you get this lovely A4 stamp set it's nautical as well so again and when I was asked to do it, I was like, oh yes, I, lo I love nautical. Um, anything under the sea is just so nice. You get this die, you get the stencil, and you get your sentiment stamps there as well, along with papers that are also inside. You can see them there. So this is the magazine, that's just the box. It's, it's jam-packed, it really is. There's just so much stuff. You can see that die shape there, and I love that they've used that little bit of like burlap behind there as well. Really, really nice. So there was my one. So I was asked to do scene building and um, I really enjoyed making that card and you can see I've used the clear Nouveau drops to look like bubbles coming out of the sea. I've used some twine there to look like rope on a boat and then i done the no line stamping so you stamp in the colour that you want to use and then I actually coloured these you can see I've done some you know little blending there on the starfish with the wheel the seaweed and everything. I really enjoyed putting these together. The birds, and then I done the boat in the background there as well. It was a really nice make. And then I also done these ones here. So I've done the floating pot box with the cluster there of the seahorse. So again, you can see there's no black harsh lines with the stamps. So I've stamped them in orange, and then I've gone in with a darker orange and with my coloured pencils just to really kind of help them pop. You get this lovely stamp which creates like, um, no, the stencil, sorry, that creates like bubbles. And then I've used more bubbles there with some Nouveau drops and again a little bit of the seaweed. But I've done it in orange, you know, so you don't always have to stamp everything in the colours that maybe they're meant to be. And then this one here, I loved this stamp and it was this splash effect or like the spray of the of the waves when they crash against the rocks. So I had the idea of having it so that it was crashing against the rocks behind the mermaid. And that was on that centre uh, tent or easel, I can't remember what I called that card, and um, I loved the colour, I used this gorgeous teal colour on her um, mermaid's tail there, so really really nice um, it's a really lovely set of stamps, you can see them here, so this is your sentiments 
so you get them there and some of them have got a little curve to them and stuff so they will fit within the die which is here and it will create something like that and that's your stencil so that was that kind of um, bubble effect and you've got the rope you've got a wave birds scallops another wave that big anchor this is like your rope so you can do a nice stenciled border around your cards and then here is the stamp set as you can see that's that spray so it's quite a big stamp but it creates a really nice effect you've got your mermaid there's that lovely sized boat you know the, the ship's wheel there they're good sized stamps and then you've got that lovely one there with the lighthouse and then all the extras as well so yeah really really fun it's a nice the box kits are great i always say they're great ones if you're kind of just starting off because you know just a, a black ink pad um you know some color pencils or whatever medium you've got some cardstock you, you you know you're good to go you don't need to have tons of stuff because it's all pretty much there for you then um, I got this one here. I love this one. This is so nice. So this is the Creative Stamping. This is issue 86. And um, there's a card in here which I want to case just 100% exactly how it is. And it's actually, it's quite simple, but I just fell in love with it. So with this one here, you get, look at this stamp set and this scene. I love this scene. And I've got a nice card idea to use that. I love the little otter. It's just floating, bobbling along there. This one you have your fisherman, and then you have, you've got your kingfishers, you've got another fisherman in his boat, all different kind of birds there. I'm not, you know, 100% with my bird name, so I'm gonna leave it. But you've got your mallard there. I guess that you could color that in any way to, to be, you know, a, a different kind of duck. And um, you've got them uh, flying there. You've got some butterflies. You've got the dragonfly. You've got your water lilies, rocks. Sentiments are retirement, get well soon, thinking of you, hello, Father's Day, relax. So really nice ones, but I love that scene. I absolutely adore it. And you also get this one. So you get the RSPB. I do have some of the RSPB ones, and this is the Kingfisher. Isn't it lovely? Really, really nice. You've got your die and your stamp. Um, and again, I will be adding that to my other RSPB ones. This is the magazine. And then let me show you, there's loads of inspiration using this stamp set in all different ways, but the one that I love is this one here. I am in love with it. It is just a six by six card with the four corners cut off to create a hexagon. And it's that background that's stamped, but it's stamped off the page. Inked the edges to add a little bit of shading and then done that mallard duck right in the center. But I love that she's done the um, reflection with the stamping there. So I'll be using the um, media map to create that. And I just love it. I absolutely love that card. I was just, it's just so simple. Two stamps and then obviously the reflection stamp. She shows you how to do that there as well. I love it. So Teresa, you've done a beautiful card. She's done three others there as well. And then another one I love is this one here. And that's by Lisa Robson. She always does some really nice cards, as do many of them. But that is kind of like a... Is it? Yeah, shadow box. So she's got an extra bit there where you can see the fisherman. So he's actually like 3D. And um, aren't they just stunning cards? They really are. And they're perfect masculine makes. So if you just want to build up a stash of masculine cards, these all, look, there's the star fold there. You've even done the shirt there with the fish all over it. I think they're absolutely brilliant. I love this stamp set. It's very rare whenever the Creative Stamping magazine bring out a stamp set that I don't like it I think I've said it before I think there's maybe been two that have not really been my style otherwise I just love them so if you are someone that just loves stamping again all you need for this is a black ink and a whatever you know coloring medium and you're, you're good to go so yeah looking forward to that one and that was the case so you also inspiring ideas to try tonight free tonic studios aqua flow pens worth 40 pound 10 percent off um, and that's about the RSPB stamp. Yeah, so that was issue, I think I did say, yeah, issue 86. Then this is the last one here, and this one you get quite a lot. So this is issue, Papercraft Essentials, issue 189. And with this one, you get this Making Waves cut and emboss folder. And it will create this lovely, like, shimmering water effect. You know when the water kind of catches the lights running down the stream? That's what that reminds me of. And then it cuts this circle here, and then you have this circle die and flower to then go in the, in the middle. They've got here create spinner cards, so there must be inspiration inside the magazine to show you how to make that. You also get plus bonus downloads, so there must be papers that you can use for this. See there, look, they've done it as like a porthole. 
which is a nice effect with the fish. And then that's just quite a, a simple card using that style. And then you also get this kit. So this one here is Wrap and Reveal. Now I've actually got a tutorial on my channel showing you how to make this. And it's a really nice style card, but they've actually got a kit here that does it all for you. So here's all of your, um, what I'm probably going to do, this is going to go into my giveaway box because I've, like I said, I've got the tutorial to make it and um, I want to focus on all the stamping that I've got there. I think this will be, you know, better going to someone who's going to enjoy this, who maybe has not done that one, but it's a really nice card stock and they've done all your score lines for you. Can you see there? So all you've got to do is just follow all those score lines and it will give you this really nice card. So you get one, two, love that one there, three. I know it says all this on the front, but it's nice to sometimes actually see inside these things. You can't see inside because it's all sealed with the plastic in the shops, which is why I do these because lots of people do like to see and then they can, you know, really get an idea and decide if they do want to get it or not. You can see there, they're all coated on the front and then they're matte on the back and uh, really pretty. I do, that one's really stands out. I love that one. And then you get your papers to decorate each one. So they will all match and correspond. They've all got the gold foiling around them. Um, you've got loads, you've got all your triangles there to matte and layer. Um, that one there, that's really pretty. Really nice, like these ones here. And then you've got that one there as well. And you've got your foam pads. So giving you everything that you need. So you can literally just sit down one afternoon. Well, probably you could knock them all up in probably about an hour, I would have thought. Um, you can add other bits to it as well. Um, five double-sided wrap and reveal card designs. So that's your freebies, which are great. And then it says on there just a few other offers and things that you can get. Mega value pack. And um, again, bumper bumper pack filled with lovely card. Oh, look, it's <laughs> just giving you a, a sneak bit. I think other people must really love it as well if it's gone across the two magazines. Funny, I've just opened it up on that one. Definitely making that card. I'm probably going to make a few of them. Um, your cards. I always say to everybody, send your cards in because you'd be surprised. It's such a nice feeling when you see your cards in print. Um, that's nice, that's like the ones I've done before, the Super Shadow, Debbie, she's lovely, she's done Super Shadow box cards, she's got all different designs there, all inspirations, there you go, that shows one of those cards that you get there in that kit, isn't that stunning, so there's a belly band, so you slide the belly band off and then it opens up. So I've also got the latest John Next Door kit. So this is issue three, and this is the autumn special. So again, it's in the box just like the other one there. And um, I made some cards for this one. And again, it's really nice when you see your makes that are, you know, been photographed professionally and it's on the front and I've done the TP with this one. So you get the stamp set, which got that beautiful sunflower, but again, depending on how you color it, you could have it as another flower as well. And then you've got some lovely sentiments there. You've got this die with these dies in the middle which create a nice frame and you've got a embossing folder here as well and I think I believe this was five by five you got the leaves there you can create some nice effects with that one and then again a bumper pack and in here you have your papers really nice lovely papers to use and just loads of inspiration so you can see the kind of effects there that beautiful flower um, in the sunflower colors there and lots of different styles there and then there's the ones that I've done there so I've done this pop out gatefold um, and you can see there I've used the embossing folder in that way so I've used it on the it was a I think it was some Centura Pearl which is a white core so I embossed it on that and then I've just gone over and you can see where I've just brought out the white and it just shows off that detail and then I've just die cut loads of those little bits and pieces all around that frame and then I've done that bridge fold which I really loved and coloured in those images looked really nice and then there's that TP there as well such a nice style card and it just shows off all those stamped images really well so it's a bumper pack really nice colors I do love that card nikki's is on the front there actually i just realized you can see there they've got that distressing tool that's what they're showing you um, some lovely effects so that's that one then i've got two more here so this is the latest this is another nautical one so this is the latest simply cards and papercraft issue 207 so again, you get tons of offers and stuff on there as well. And this is the Nautical Collection, and it's a signature collection by Sarah Davis. And you can see there, you get that seahorse die, and then you get these here. I love this one. 
really nice. I don't have one with that kind of blocked stamp. I've got ones that are just more of just the, the thin circle with the little holes. But having that nice block piece there, that would be nice. And I don't have a, a boat in more of that older ship style. Um, you know, they're more smaller kind of sailing boats and things. So that's a nice one to add. I love this one as well with the anchor and the ring. And then you've got that lovely one with the lighthouse. <laughs> Probably got about 20 lighthouses, but they are all different. And you've got the starfish, all the other little bits and pieces there. And it says, wishing you oceans of happiness. We cannot control the wind, but we can direct the sails. Adventure awaits. Um, enjoy life's journey, sail away and seize the day. And again, there'll be loads of inspiration inside on how you can use that. And there's one example on the front there which is really nice. And then again, full of inspiration from all different kinds of designers. So there we go, there's some there using those stamps. I like there the porthole looking out with the birds and there's that ship, it's a really nice image, I really do like it. Um, what else, oh look. <laughs> It's so weird seeing a big picture of myself like that. Ah, there's my new collection. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, I've looked, I've flicked through this, but I've missed that. <laughs> anyway, um, let me show you. There's that, again, that Alice in Teal. Something about it. Um, and then there's some cards by Nikki using that free kit. I love that, that like panel effect. It's nice when you frame them as well, like a sampler. And um, yeah, it looks it looks nice. I love the seahorse and it's been layered up there as well. It's a nice idea and circular cards are always great when you do your nautical style. That's nice as well with the, like, in fact, the, your distress inks will create that nice background and watercolours and stuff. So some really nice um, examples on how to use it. Again, I do, I really like that, that ship, the sailing ship. I think it looks uh, such a nice card. So yeah, there you have the Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 207. And then I have another one of the lettering, Simply Lettering, I haven't gone into this one yet. But I'm building up some nice pens and all my kind of like test sheets and stuff, or like learning sheets. So this one here, this is a small tip brush pen in magenta. Well, I love magenta. And then here again, you get all of your practice sheets. That's what I need to call them, test sheets, practice sheets. I love that one. These are good. So you can just cut these and frame them as well. So on there, don't wait for the perfect moment. Take the moment and make it perfect. That's good. I'll have to see what they're using with those. Again, all of these you can just cut and frame. Focus on the good, home sweet home. Keep positive, keep positive thinking. Keep positive thinking. I would say keep thinking positive. Keep positive, I don't know. <laughs> every day. See again, I'm reading that. So I guess it's every day is a fresh start, but I'm going every is a day fresh. Anyway, <laughs> it just shows different people. We read things, I do anyway. <laughs> Maybe the wrong way. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. <laughs> Once you see it, I guess it's easier, isn't it? But um, yeah, if you're someone that likes to do your hand lettering, then this is a great magazine. Again, always filled with lots of inspiration, lots of ideas. Gives you little sneak peeks into the other magazines as well. And it's the lovely Lou. She's the editor of this magazine. And uh, yeah. In fact, there's an interview with Lou there, so I'll probably have a read of that when I have a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, so that is Simply Lettering. That's issue 12, and you get that magenta brush pen um, as your freebie, as well as the practice sheets there as well. Okay, so that is everything. I'm going to do the separate unboxing for that one. Now that I am really kind of settling now, getting back into the swing of things properly since moving, I'm going to get back into doing my magazine makes because I do love using the supplies in the magazines and um, I'm going to be incorporating them more into my lives as well. If you don't um, join in on the lives at all, you don't know about them, I do them on Facebook every Monday and Friday at 2pm. 
the UK time and um, they're really good fun. We get a real nice bunch of people coming in. You don't have to craft along, you might just want to chat and um, you don't even have to chat, you might just want to watch in the background, that's totally fine. But um, I, I really like doing them, they're really good fun. So yeah, I'm going to get all this unpacked, take all the packaging off, file it all away and I will be back very soon with some new tutorials. So thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye.